Tonight. Good morning, Gray family! Good morning! One deserving family. So I'm guessing this is your mom. With one amazing story. Johnny's mother was killed by a stray bullet. That left Johnny's brothers and sisters, five kids, orphaned. Johnny took everybody in. So now we have a young family with nine children. This is where the squirrels get in. This family wants windows. They want heat. They want the things that we take for granted. Take one last glorious look at what your house used to look like. The Extreme Makeover design team has only seven days to rip down and rebuild absolutely everything. One house. Go, let's go! One week. Bring them on, guys. One Extreme Makeover. The Home Edition. Yikes! starts right now. Okay, guys, we're on our way to the inner city of Los Angeles to one of the toughest neighborhoods in L.A. It's getting better, but it still has some problems with gangs, crime, and violence. We're going to meet a really big family that needs some really big help. They're the Gray family. Check out this tape they sent us. Johnny and Veronica Gray have been married for nine years. They have four wonderful children. Then three years ago, the family suffered a horrible tragedy. In 2001, Johnny's mother came to visit, and when she was asleep, there was a gang shootout outside of our home. She was hit by a straight bullet. Checked her for pulse. There was no pulse. She had five minor children, ranging from the ages of five months to nine years of age. But Johnny and Veronica stepped up to the plate they already had their own children. And then Johnny and his wife took in Johnny's brothers and sisters. I have to be the great big man that they look up to. Because they were the innocent, they were the victims, they were the real victims, they were left without their mother. So Johnny moved everyone into the only house that was big enough that he could afford. Unfortunately, it was a 100-year-old fixer-upper that was literally falling apart. Now we have the social workers demanding that we re make certain repairs to the walls, to the roof, or else, you know, they threaten us with removing our children. Well, please, ABC, find it in your heart to be able to come here and help my family out and my children, because I will find it in my heart to keep you in mind forever and the rest of my whole life. Holy cow! Johnny and his wife have done something amazing taking in all these kids. We need to give them a house that's big enough for the whole family and let these guys finally have a house they deserve. And guys, we got our work cut out for us on this one. on your house for a week, you guys are going on a week-long vacation to Disney World in Orlando. Oh, yeah. Design team, we got seven days, and it looks like we've got a lot of work to do. So take a look around. Gray family, show me your house. Let's do it. OK, so you've got a drum set in the middle of your living room, right, when you walk in. <laughs> you guys play a lot of music? Yeah, they've got a lot of instruments. They come and bring them from the church, so all the kids start participating. So we have a great time here. You guys have got a little, uh, little Aztec art going on up here as well? This right here, this is our room where we talk about culture, uh, which is Mexican culture, Maya. Aztec. And so that's why we have a lot of the stuff here. So I'm guessing this 
is your mom, is that right? Yeah, that's my mother and um, that's my father. How long ago was it that your mom, your mom passed away? May, just, 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 just this May 20, 20 May 27th um, was three years. Johnny took everybody in and bought this house with Veronica and is now basically the father of nine kids. When Johnny asked you, so I'm gonna take in all these kids, what would you think? Those kind of decisions are very easy. It's, it's not difficult. When it's your family, it's, they were young kids, they were helpless, they were actually orphaned. Once again, we are blessed with, with working for a wonderful family here. Johnny Garay counsels children who are at risk of becoming a part of a gang. I'm not gonna sit here and cry and whine and feel bad about what's going on out here in my community. I, I'm out here trying to put a stop, let inform, re-educate the minds of the youth and let them know that this is not the way. The irony of his mother being killed by a stray gang bullet is just phenomenal. You're an amazing human. I'm glad we're here to help out. I know you guys have got your hands full trying to help out as many people as you can, so we're here to help you. You know, Johnny did what he could, found a house big enough for his whole family. It just happened to be a 100-year-old fixer-upper that's fallen apart. David sleeps down here. His room started leaning. Oh, really? David is nonverbal autistic, does not speak. And autistic children have very special needs, and they respond to certain things differently. That's, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted you guys to really come out here for him. Why are there just holes like this? Walking through the gray house for the first time, I was in shock. I mean, it was just unlivable. We got just everything falling apart here. There's big holes in the wall. This is unacceptable as a kitchen for a family of 11. Let's take a ceiling sample, shall we? Mold? Mold. Wow. As Michael would say, let's hook them up. Arr. So you don't have a door on your bedroom? Nope. What I do is I use a shower rod. Oh, I just take it on and I'm going like this. There. It's crazy. Oh, so <laughs> any other working bathroom besides this one, or is this it? No, upstairs. Oh, jeez. OK, we just lost the door. So all 11. Yeah. Every family member, this is the one working bathroom. Yeah. This is ridiculous. And it doesn't work. Oh, for the love. They've been through a lot, and they're keeping it together, and they really deserve a house that's habitable. So this is Efren's book, and he's into dinosaurs. Well, I got dinosaurs chasing dinosaurs. You got a dinosaur thing going on. Favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. I like, um, Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus? No, Spinosaurus. What about pterodactyl? Who's into a pterodactyl? Oh, I, I, I want a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl? A dinosaur. Way to go, generic. What about if we do a, a skeleton of... You walk in through the skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and you come out... So this is you guys' room, right? You guys all share this room? OK. So what would you like to see different in your room? Because I'm the guy to tell. I tell you, I can make some stuff happen. Oh, yeah? New windows. This family wants windows. They want heat. They want water. They want the things that we take for granted every single day. So, Christina, what do you want to be when you grow up? A spy. Oh, wow. So this is all your spy stuff right here? Oh, wow. You got your own passport, looks like. Oh. She should have a spy room. Iris, she's always playing dress-up. Always playing dress-up? Yeah, always playing dress-up. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Miss America, Iris Gray. Oh. This is Nydia's room. She's the oldest girl. Nydia is obviously into being a girly girl. She's got a whole beauty parlor here. Check this out. What kind of colors would you like to see in here? Bright colors. So something kind of girlish, maybe? Yeah. Right? What do you think about, like, a beauty parlor room? OK, so the gray house wasn't exactly up to code. Um, and the foster care system basically gave Johnny one year to fix up the house, or they're taking the kids. So all I can say is, is we really are at the right house at the right time. Are you guys ready to go to Disney World? Yeah! yeah! We'll start climbing in. Got in there, guys. So listen, you guys have fun. Disney World. Disney Florida. <laughs> we have to give these guys a lot of room, a lot of space. I think we at least have to have two floors, like they have now. I can't think of two people who deserve a oasis more than Johnny and Veronica. Iris is our glamour girl. She's going to have a lighted runway. She's going to have a 
platform where she's crowned the queen. Three of the boys are big dinosaur fans. My buddies, Paul and Preston, are going to be giving them the ultimate dinosaur room. This family is very in touch with their heritage. We're going to kind of expand on that and give them a Mexican heritage room. We found out that Miss Christina would like to be a spy when she grows up, so we're going to give her a spy room. And then our very special room is for David. I'm designing David's room, and I'm going to get some help from some specialists who truly understand David's needs. This is huge, what we're doing here. Yes. We're all going to have to cross over and help each other out in this. Hey, hello. Hey, is this homemade? OK, so we're going to tear this house down to the ground. So I called Homemade. Um, they're a nonprofit organization that finds contractors who build homeless shelters, and they want to help out the family. Okay, have you got anything in, like, the six to seven day range? So, show me what you got. The design team came up with an idea to do a two-story house, lots of rooms, which is fantastic. But I thought we needed to go one step further. I'd actually like to add um, a study and a music room. Well, I don't know. Right. Well, here's the deal. We could lose in bedrooms. Yeah. Well, I think we ought to do a whole nother floor, a yeah. third floor. What? These are intelligent, fun kids, and like there ought to be a place at the top of the house where lots of light comes in, where they can hang out as a family, play music together, and also, you know, they can learn, read, and uh, have fun as a family. Let's go, baby! Yeah. But you're doing the third floor. I'm doing the All third right. floor. Just ahead on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Take one last look, because in a few seconds, that baby is coming all the way down. Yikes. Next. This is our first time taking a vacation as a family together. Yeah. We've been able to share laughs and smiles and giggles. This has made up maybe for all that we haven't been able to do as a family together. I'm happy about it. We're here to help, and uh, hey man, these are good people, you know? These children have been through so much, but now we've been given the opportunity to give these kids a future. Good morning, Garay family! Take one last glorious look at what your house used to look like. And for a few seconds, that baby is coming all the way down. in a matter of hours, and now we have a dirt lot. You said we're gonna build a big house? Yeah. We need a big builder. So we're just hanging out there, and Ty walks up with three guys in suits. Hey, design team! I'd like you to meet Jeff Slavin, chairman of the board of Homemade. Uh, yeah. We've brought you one of the best builders in America. This is Peter Shea and Bert Selva of Shea Homes. Very nice. Shea Homes, one of the largest builders in the world. They built the Golden Gate Bridge. They built the Hoover Dam. I'm thinking they're going to be able to build this house. We need to build a house that's three stories in six days. Did you bring some friends? Bring them on, guys. So Bert gets on the walkie-talkie and says, bring it on. And, uh, around the corner comes an army, and I mean an army of guys with uh, smiles on their faces ready to take on a, a large project for a wonderful, deserving family. Awesome! <laughs> This house is 4,800 square feet. 
three stories. We've never even thought of doing anything of this caliber before. Hey, the walls are coming in. Look at that. They're putting them right down on the first floor. They get built off site, yanked onto the first floor, and tilted into place. Everything is laid out just like a puzzle. It's going like clockwork. By the end of the day, you are going to see a three-story house framed in all the way up. These guys, obviously, are the best of the best. I've never seen anybody kick this much butt on a house in my life. Walls are up. Are you ready to do our thing? Yeah! I can't hear you. Yeah! Let's go! Hey, ladies. Hello. Hi. I really needed you guys to come by. I'm laying out the room for David. To design a room for David, I called Step by Step, which is a company that helps people understand children with disabilities, especially children with autism. This is a really, really nice idea for the bed. And Courtney and Shelley helped me understand how the design for David's room could be laid out for the best use by David. A good idea is to maybe make what they call a social story. And they had an idea that we should make a book that kind of gives David um, an idea of what his room is going to be like before he actually steps into it. Okay, this is what I'm doing for the, the boys in the dinosaur room here. This here is one of the beds, all right? Here's our bed sitting in here with our pillow up here, and you climb in here. It's not a real dinosaur, though. It's like a polosaurus. Then over here, we have the bunkosaurus. You climb up here. You got one of the boys sleeping right here and another boy sleeping up here. I'm going to like this room a lot. Coming up. Here she is, Miss America. Oh, my God. Gosh, that's the crown. The official Miss America. Crown. That's it. Elbow, elbow. Elbow, elbow. Yes. Follow the instructions, guys. Elbow. It's not going to be easy. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. It's Sunday, the morning of day four, and we've got a three-story house that's been pretty much put up in 32 hours. we got three days left before the family gets home. The whole house has pretty much been framed up, but the rest of it's got to get built and get built really soon. We've never done a project of this kind of scope or size ever before. This is amazing! Inside, you can see we've got a gigantic, huge living room area. This is huge! Oh my gosh, you do. It's so exciting. You can see all the way through the front of the house, to the back of the house. Huge kitchen in here with this center island. I go in that house and I can't believe how it goes on endlessly, not only front to back, but all the way up. Now we're walking up to the second story. We got bedrooms, 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 bedrooms. It's huge. We've got teams working on top of each other around the clock to get this thing done. It's massive. This is the dinosaur room. You could probably fit a dinosaur in this room. Then they can look out these huge windows. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Let's go upstairs. There's another floor. Now that, my friend, is a room with a view. For the first time ever, we're on a third story. So keep it on the low low. We're turning this into a little bit of a study and a music room, a place where the family can actually jam. And yes, this is the biggest room I've ever had to design. Christina likes the whole espionage thing, you know, like spying and all that stuff. So we're going to give her a secret agent room. My name's DeMeo, Paul DeMeo. My name's 77. Somebody want to be a spy? We have a girl who's very much into surveillance and spying. What, what do we got here? The special glasses. You can see if somebody sneaks up behind you. Oh, Before yeah. Okay. Look at these. Voice changers. Oh, I see. Write a secret note. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Agent 27. Oh. Agent 27, do you copy? We've got communicators, we've got the spy pens, voice changer. Agent Natasha, thank you very much for all the stuff. Let's go. We got enough stuff to make the spy room pretty ready for some covert activity. Please close it for Iris' room. She's seven years old. She loves to play dress up. So I'm going to give her a room that looks like a beauty pageant. She's got diamonds, earrings, necklaces, tiaras. I've been in a pageant myself. You're looking at Miss Teenage Kansas City. I'm not going to say what year. Iris will also have her very own runway. It's pretty great. Every time she walks into her room, she's the winner. Hey, contact. Melody, what are you doing? This beautiful black town car pulled up, and I thought, gee, uh, great, great ride, Michael. It's good for you. This is Erica Dunlap, Miss America 2004. Oh, my gosh. I can't, I can't believe you're here. Thank you. This is a privilege for me as well. I'm really excited to uh, come and see what you guys are doing. Come on, sit down. It was so fun. What a down-to-earth person she is. We're going to look at some of this, and we just want to get your opinion on it, okay. what you think. I did get her these lovely pieces of jewelry. I haven't seen anything. a better piece of jewelry. Oh my gosh, that's the crown. Official Miss America. Crown. That's it. This oh, is a very special that. contribution for a very special little girl. Here she is. Miss America. My so goodness. you are giving the room your blessing? Yes, I yes. give the room my blessing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out here. Thank you for having 
me. Hey, Erica, follow me. We've got official business. Oh, official Thanks, business. And hey, bring your tiara. Whoa, look that. You have a video message from Ty. Hello, Karay family. So listen, when you get back from your vacation and you finally see your new house, there's going to be lots of friends and family here, and you're going to need to do a lot of waving. So I brought in an expert to show you how to do the proper wave. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss America, Erica Dunlap. Say hi. Hello. We're going to do elbow, elbow. Elbow, elbow. Yes. Follow the instructions, guys. Elbow, it's not going to be easy. Elbow, elbow. Wrist, wrist. Touch the pearls. And flip the hair. And flip the hair. You got that, guys? Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Touch the pearls. Flip. So listen, you guys have a great time in Disney World and work on your way. Have fun. Here's a tip for you. Instead of installing security bars on your window, try installing windows with a protective coating that keeps the glass from breaking and the burglars out. Tracy, hit it. Somebody at the door? Pick it up back there. I'm doing the best I can. Next, let's go bother someone. <laughs> Didn't work. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. If you or someone you know deserves a home makeover, go to abc.com keyword home makeover to apply to be on the show. Morning at day five. These guys are so ahead of the schedule, it's incredible. Tomorrow we're going to be running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We're going to be out there playing badminton. Are you looking at an almost finished three-story house. It's got siding going on. We've got the entire inside already sheetrocked and mudded. They're spraying out here. They're painting already. Day five, they're painting. I've never seen so many guys in my life. And they're from literally all over America. Orange County, Garden Grove, Fulton over here, Denver, Colorado. Some guys are from San Diego. We've got a crew from Arizona. Where are you from? Uh, Mexico. Mexico. How about that? They're telling me this thing's going to be done in 24 hours, which means this house will be ready a day before the family comes home. That has never happened. Hey, anyone out here from Philadelphia? Are you from Philadelphia? Oh, my God. All I can say is, is that's one gigantic three-story house. You guys are incredible, man. How do you do it? <laughs> it's our team. Trust me, it's not me. Our so Bert Silva from Shea Homes tells me, guys, we're going to give you the house. We're going to break a record. We're going to give it before you've ever had a house before. If you don't make that deadline, okay. I'm thinking maybe I'd like your jacket. <laughs> what is that, like a 40 regular? What I'd, is that? I'd like your shirt. Well, then we'll trade. Yeah. All right? Okay. This is it. Five Tameless, gorgeous. Look at this way. When you, when you pour it, automatically opens. Pizza. You know this holds 22 towels. We're going to need more than that. Let's get them two of these and two dryers. We're doubling up. Oh, that is exciting. So David's room is obviously a very special room, and uh, we wanted to do the best we could to make David feel very comfortable in it. Autistic children resist change. It makes them uncomfortable, and I don't want that for David. So what I'm doing right now is making a book for David of materials and fabrics that are going to go in his room, his new bed, his new chair. It had explanations of the kinds of things that are going in David's room. Sent that off to Johnny and Veronica while they're down on vacation. Yes, hello. Hey, man, it's time. How's Disney World going? Oh, it's going great. Uh, I called up Johnny and said, Johnny, do me a favor. Show David the book, read it to him. What you need to do is read it to David and so that he'll become very comfortable with the way his room's going to be. Yeah, he's looking at his name. He recognizes his name. This is David's new bed. You like it? He needs a place that he can retreat to and soothe himself and be calm, and this room will do just that. I need a lot of furniture. Oh, perfect. I love that yes. nine kids. We're going to need two. Hooked up. Hey, Paul, what's happening? Ty just working on the uh, bunk of stores here. Paula Bunkasaurus. Bunkasaurus, Bunkasaurus, Bunkasaurus. Head's over there. Hell comes down here. Bunkasaurus. 77. I don't know if you're a dabble in paleontology. You may never have heard of it. It doesn't ring a bell. People think there was no such thing as a Bunkasaurus. <laughs> It ate nightmares. It ate nightmares. Yeah, but the Bunkasaurus would kind of look over them and eat the nightmare right out of space. Nice. Paul built it, and it's really adorable. It's a Bunkasaurus. It's a Bunkasaurus. Well, you may or may not 
don't know, but color to me, very important. The screen is beautiful, and we chose this for the whole downstairs, all of the living areas. It's a really easy color to live with. This is probably the hottest color right now when it comes to cabinetry. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole house. We went with this really beautiful, soft, subtle, soothing blue tone. All the common areas need to be sophisticated, classic. You'll notice, though, with the kids' room, we get a little wacky. One of the cool things about this family is that they're really proud of their Mexican heritage. Preston and Paul came up with a cool idea to actually give them a Mexican heritage room. Basically, it's a room to show off the family's heritage and how proud they are of that. So Preston went down to Alvera Street, which is like, pretty much it feels like you're in Mexico. There's so many mysteries in Mexican culture that the fascination should last a lifetime for the kids. I hope they started with this room, and I hope that their interest runs deep and long. And, that they bring something back to their family. Just ahead, an extreme makeover, home edition. Well, it's a good morning. Because it's day six, the family comes home tomorrow. The siding's up, the roof's up, the house is almost finished. Let's I had made a bet with Bert Silva that we would have the house by 3.58. And if the house wasn't ready, Bert had to hand over his designer blazer to tie. So we still gonna have this house at 3.58? You bet. I'm holding you to that. Okay. All right. This is exactly what we needed. A truck full of arte mexicano for our Mexican heritage room. So you can see it depicts different things in Mexican history right here on this wall. It's a lovely mural. And she's very pretty. Boys will be boys. And Paul and Preston are always looking for an excuse to just goof off. Let's go bother someone. And in came this giant, amazing replica of this dinosaur head. Big teeth, beady eyes. I think it's too large. I think it's too scary. Socks? That frightens kids. You know what I mean? Not dinosaurs. Tracy, Paul, LAPD, Deputy Chief Brennan has brought along police explorers. Chief Brennan, a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Guys, can you help us out? Yeah! yeah. Nice. You know, they're involved in our after school program, which right. is intended to give them an opportunity to do something different after school than right. stuff that might get them in trouble, right? But right. to be involved in a little bit of construction work and to make a contribution. It's yeah. pretty neat yeah. stuff. Listen, Explorers, Chief, thank you so much for coming and helping out. Uh, I really appreciate Our it. Our pleasure. So. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, people, we got 24 hours. 24 hours of the family comes home. Can you read my lips? Read my lips, people. 24 hours till the family comes home. What's going on in here, guys? What are we having? Some kind of a party? What's up with this? Where's the bathtub? That blazer is definitely going to be mine. Well, here we are at 358, and oh, it just turned 359. So I would definitely say that the house is not quite ready to start moving the furniture. Check it out. It's 3.59. Just... In 15 seconds, it's going to be 4 o'clock. You still I'm want sorry, it. Bert. I've got to take the jacket, my friend. I mean, a deal's a deal. You know, you're, you're not going to miss this thing at all, buddy. All right, guys. Love the jacket. Thanks so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, whose baby is that baby? I'll take that baby. What time's the golf game? What time's the tea time? Well, tell the mayor he can wait. We've got a house to build. Job, Ty. Woo! Got David's stuff! When we finally get the house turned over, it's time to motor. This is a spy camera. If you're ever building a spy room, you'll need one of these. Hold on! See, now you know it's Connie. We've got our big pieces in place. We'll hang some art, we'll throw some plants around, some accessories. It's gonna be awesome. So I gotta hand it to this Gray family, man. They love their Mexican heritage. So they make a couple of phone calls to some friends that are actually uh, native Mexican priestesses to come by and bless their house. You must be... Xochimilco. So you're here to bless the house, is yes. that right? Let me show you the way. Yes. 
Gray family, consider it blessed. Guys, the house is finished! And the limo is on the way! I can't wait for this family to come home. I'm excited to go home! I think we have outdone ourselves. The biggest house we've done, some of the best rooms we've ever done, for one of the best families we've ever worked for. They're gonna feel like they're in some kind of dream. Check it out. I was so nervous about David and his reaction to his room. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. All right, guys, this is it. You're about to see a whole new house. that were going through me. This is a new house, but this is really our home. <laughs> My kitchen, <sighs> granite counters. I don't have to cook on a two-burner stove anymore. I got two dishwashers, two refrigerators. <laughs> a dream come true, gourmet kitchen. Beautiful. David, let's go check out your room, buddy. Let's check it out. I was so nervous about David and his reaction to his room. That's why we made this book. We sent it to him to make sure that, you know, he'd be comfortable in his new room. Check out your new room, David. When David walks into that room, his face lit up. It's very rare when David smiles. He remembered that book he had received. He was in touch with what he had felt. He was so excited. He seen his bed. He jumped right on it. He loved it. That's what he kept saying when he was touching the wall like that. I like that. I like that. I like that color. <laughs> like it. Actions really do speak louder than words. The smile on his face was amazing. It was beautiful to watch. It was great. He, he, he couldn't say much, but he was happy. <laughs> Look, he's happy. David, he feels really happy. Now, I know you guys are really proud of your Mexican heritage, so we decided to get you a room that you could showcase that. Oh! What's in here? Oh! Although I was born in Los Angeles, Mexican heritage has always been a part of me. I felt in touch with my culture. <laughs> because every single item that was put in there, it has a meaning. Oh, man. Beautiful. And that's exciting, you know, and my kids are very excited about that. I'm very excited. Oh, wow. They really, really enjoyed that room. It's a great room. I give it an A+. Plus. And the family, I think, gives it an A++. Plus plus. Nice job, Preston. Oh! 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 All of the kids' rooms were very extraordinary, very unique, very emotional for me to see my kids in these rooms. Oh! Oh! The emotions that my children expressed just blew me away. Oh! 
that came out of each room. He's working. Mommy, look, he's working. They were so happy, and it really touched me. It was very emotional <laughs> to see them that excited. Check this out. Now this is a special doorknob that only allows the person to enter by their fingerprint. Check out your new spy room. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the ultimate spy room. You see that up there? It's a camera out in the hallway. You can see who's in the doorway. Hey, Christina! That bear, it's a camera. These glasses are actually camera, and you can actually take pictures. You pull this out right here, right back there. Is a secret passageway that goes into the laundry room. Yeah, isn't that awesome? This is nice. Hey, where's Christina at? I had to open it with my thumbprint. She's back. Nice. I feel blessed because you guys picked us, and I really like you guys because you guys made our dreams come true. Whoa! Oh, yeah! I love the big dinosaur head popping out. I have a dinosaur room, yeah, and I have dinosaur toys. Dinosaur toys! Dinosaur tank feet, a dinosaur head sticking out, and we got dinosaur beds. I love the whole room. It was better than Christmas. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to spending your Saturday with my kids in their room. I think this might be the most deserving family I've ever met. Johnny went through a horrible ordeal, as raising his own kids as well as his brothers and sisters. At the same time, helping out the community. He never really has a moment for himself. He gives his whole life to other people. I think that qualifies as one of the most deserving people I've ever met. <laughs> oh, we got some space. Our master suite. I knew there was a bedroom, but that big. <laughs> oh, God. This is so unbelievable. Oh, yeah! The tub there, right there next to your bed. It's like, this is me and you, baby. We sleep, we, we have our time, and then we jump in there. We're very excited about it. Oh, oh, oh closet, a big one! And my mom and dad cried because they were happy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What's this? Giant! Oh, oh yeah! part of the house was the two-story master suite, and they loved it. <laughs> I'm very excited about my master bedroom. That's my place right there. Just ahead. I want to be the best father in the whole world for my family. Having this home going make me a better man than I am. There was no question about it. The kids were going to remain with me. Good morning, God! Yeah, we're gonna have to make a bed here. You had a two-story house. Well, I wanted to go bigger than that. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, I have to say this has not been my best secret I've kept on my secret room. <laughs> Guys, I've been working on this room personally. Do you want to go see your thoughts? Yeah! Well, let's go upstairs. <laughs> I've actually given you guys two rooms on the third floor. Check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to give you a place where you guys can be creative. 
got a whole music room. I designed everything to be in the shape of a circle so that the family can sit as a circle and be in unity. So this symbolizes the family circle. Let's check out the study. Guys. Yeah. Oh, no. actually paint that's made to be a chalkboard so you can actually write your name right on the wall. Oh, neat! This is a place where the kids can be creative, they can learn, they can draw. We literally have hundreds and hundreds of books that were donated, brand new computers, and so you can play music and you can be creative and do drawings all in the upstairs. Oh, wow. The third floor is extreme. And here's your design team. Oh, nice. yeah. You can see the love pouring out of them. They were so emotional. Such positive people with all these smiles. They're amazing. They're miracle workers. Johnny Veronica, I want you to meet Shea Holmes. This is Bert Silva. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all you do. And this is Peter Thank Shea. Very much. These guys Thank built a three-story house in five days. 1,100 guys, 13,000 man hours. Oh. And not only that, they built the highest quality house I've ever seen in five days. <laughs> <laughs> everyone at Shea Homes. Here are your new keys to your home. <laughs> Furthermore, Shea Homes would like to pay for one year of your utilities oh, just because of all you do God. for the community. Wow. Thank you. Oh. I felt like a knot in my throat. I felt overwhelmed to the point where my knees were shaking and buckling. It made me start crying. <laughs> We're always going to remember you, and we always kept you in our prayers. I asked God for him to be able to help you guys out and give you the strength to be able to build this house as quick as possible. And, you know, I want to be the best father in the whole world for my family. <laughs> Having this home going to make me a better man than I am. The thing that will change is now we will have more time to spend with our children. And that's the most important thing, spending more time with our children. his family's been through. It's very emotional, like, and there's no way to hold it back. And it hit me pretty hard. This is a tough story, and they've been through a tough thing. And to help these people out, man, it's just an amazing feeling. Shea Holmes, homemade, they opened up their hearts. They were amazing souls. They did it so unselfishly. I've been touched, I've been blessed, and so will they. Wow. 4,800 square feet of pure luxury. Thank you, ABC. I love it. To find out more about the products used in tonight's show, go to ABC.com. Keyword home makeover. We just think it's fair. Don't you think so? She thinks so, too. That's how we see it. We all concur. We were talking, and we just think it's scary. None of us would like to wake up with that in the room over our heads. We don't like it. So um, I veto, don't you? Next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. I've never seen in my life a, a little girl allergic to the sun. Good morning, Boom family! The design team has it made in the shade. Come on, Paul, you ready for it? For one grateful family. I think we're all insane. Here's the face loose. You won't need this anymore. You can take off your hat and gloves. It's such a load as a parent off your back and know that your daughter's not in jeopardy living in her own home. Don't miss it.